Hi, welcome to KJ and Tony Move to France. In today's video, we're sharing with you a very special place. It's the menagerie at Jardin du Plante. And the word menagerie is a word used in France to describe a zoo. Their word for zoo is menagerie. So we are going to be showing you a menagerie at one of the most popular attractions in the city of Paris, the Botanical Gardens at the Jardin du Plante. Today, we're going to share with you 10 interesting facts about the menagerie and some footage that we shot during our visit. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. The Menagerie de Jardin de Plantes. Here are 10 interesting facts you may not know regarding this zoo in Paris, France. It was founded in 1794, largely with animals brought over from the Royal Zoo of the Palace of Versailles, abandoned because of the French Revolution. The menagerie is located in the 5th arrondissement and is not to be confused with the Paris Zoological Park. This menagerie is the second oldest zoological garden in the world. There are differing reports regarding the number of occupants of the zoo. There's anywhere between 500 and potentially over 1,000 different animals living at the zoo including red pandas, snow panthers, orangutans, pythons, kangaroos, and many, many more. There are at least 146 species of animals present, visible along wooden paths in the heart of Jardin de Plante. Forty percent of these 146 species at one time were currently threatened with extinction. The animals are housed in factories, small log cabins with cob thatched roofs, inspired in 1802 by the farm of Marie Antoinette in Versailles. The welfare of the animals is always taken into account in the layout of the enclosures and the satisfaction of their needs. We were able to witness this in person when we observed the feeding of the Pornian orangutan family. There are guided tours available, and meetings with the trainers of the animals is also possible in order to get to know 
and better understand the animals. The cost of admission to the botanical gardens is free. However, admission to the menagerie within the garden cost us 15 euro each. Our visit to this incredible menagerie was one of the highlights of our time in Paris and is recommended as a must see for any animal lovers. So what'd you think? I thought it was great. I, I was very surprised. I'm not a zoo guy. I went there uh, not really wanting to go, to be honest. Mm -hmm. And uh, we spent about three hours at our own pace. It was really nice. A lot of uh, animals with personalities, mm -hmm. uh, particularly in the monkey cage. Uh, there know, was one monkey that uh, really was trying to make friends with you. <laughs> Or whatever the opposite of that is. We can't exactly describe it on this video. I, it's don't, not, think. I don't think we're allowed to do that on YouTube. Uh, but let's just say he was making lewd gestures at me. And, it was so uh, funny. But it was very interesting. And we got, any animal you can think of was there. It was great. And animals from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And what made it really interesting for me is that at every exhibit, there was a, a sign in, I think, four different languages. Yeah where the animals were from, uh, the kind of food they ate, uh, how long they lived, things like that. It was very, very interesting. Yeah, and we accidentally picked the perfect day to go because we had to go on, I think it was right before we were, I forget, like whether, no, we had already moved to Versailles because yeah, no, it was, was towards the end of Versailles. It was towards the end of Versailles and we were running out of time. Yeah. And so this was going to be the last opportunity that we would have to go to the zoo. And so if you don't know about the zoo, which we didn't until we went to Jardin de Plante, you might not leave yourself enough time to yeah. visit the zoo. And the Jardin de Plante has this incredible Christmas display. Mm -hmm. That's how we went the first time. It was to mm -hmm. go see the Christmas display and saw that they had the zoo there. But the, the Christmas display was so huge, we ran out of time there. Mm -hmm. So uh, the whole facility is a full day, if not more than one day. And when we went back, it was raining on that day. It wasn't ideal. If it hadn't been for the fact that this would be the last opportunity that we would have to go right. to the zoo, we would have said, no, we're not going. But it turned out great because it stopped raining just before we arrived. And there weren't a lot of people there because it was such a rainy and cold day. Uh, and it was a it was a weekday, which helped too. I think. Yeah, yeah. So. so it was. If you're ever in Paris, we highly recommend that you go and you check it out because it really is pretty amazing. Sure, and you know, I I think of you know the four or five biggest attractions in Paris, and maybe you don't think of this as one of those. Yeah. And it's great that if you've been to Paris multiple times and you're looking for something different to do, or if you're there for an extended period of time and you've been to the other places and now you want to do something different, this is a terrific place to go. Absolutely. So thanks for watching and au revoir for now. See you next time. Bye. Je tiens le tour de ces fameux amis brisés